Hello, I'm Lucas. This is Strike the Sun MD, and uh, I'm next to my door again, as you can see the door handle. Uh, I want to talk about The Decameron by uh, Giovanni, Giovanni Ocaccio. Uh, this is an amazing book that I had heard of last year. And it's by an Italian author, I'm sure you can tell by the name. And it means 10 days, I believe. Um, it is incredible. It's about these 10 Florentines, three men, seven women, that uh, did <laughs> Dutch ankle here, I suppose. Um, they go out from the city to get away from the madness of the Black Plague, I guess. Um, or that's the idea. That's where the or, or idea for them to go out comes because it was written around that time shortly after, probably during. And um, they tell stories to each other. All of them tell a story a day, which means there are 100 stories in here, each with their own twists and turns and really uh, human moments of deceit and love and compassion and uh, it's it's amazing how many different twists and turns there are uh, when it comes to fortune which is kind of a big thing in this book uh, Ever since the world began, men have been subject to various tricks of fortune. There's all kinds of amazing stories of different people. Uh, some focusing on men or women, abbots, abbesses, nuns. Um, there's some that's like sort of historical fiction set in uh, Octavianus. Caesar, Octavius, Octavian, uh, Caesar, Octavianus, Caesar, <laughs> um, in his time, and there's like more modern ones for, for this time, uh, and, you know, there's, there's people with power, and there's people with little power, and there's all kinds of, <laughs> um, there's a lot of cheating going on, and, there's so many um, so many stories that are really memorable um, of course the first one just to give you an idea it's about this really sort of lecherous terrible guy who has just lived a terrible sinful life and he makes his way to these bankers uh, homes and people already hate the bankers because they're bankers. And, uh, but if they turn him away, if they keep him in, they're going to hate him because they're bankers. If they turn him away and, like, he'll be seen as, like, a, oh, you're, you're friends with them. Oh, uh, and if they turn him away, um, then they look like they're stingy and cruel people and uh <laughs> but another problem they have is that he's lived such a terrible life that no one's going to want to because he hasn't he needs to confess so that his soul will go to heaven and uh the character in question <laughs> he um he tells them oh don't worry about it get me uh get me an abbot give me a priest or whatever, give me someone to talk to, to confess, and I'll, I'll take care of things. <laughs> and he, he, they get someone for him, and he tells the most ludicrous, insane lies. And they work. And he dies. He's forgiven for everything. And he's named a saint. <laughs> um... It's so, it's very involved with um, the idea of the surface level 
of humanity and what really lies underneath. Uh, there's countless stories of um, cheating in here, of infidelity, and uh, another great story, uh, I forget which, which day it is, I think it's the eighth day, um, there's this man, there's two, these two men, they're friends with each other, and one friend cheats on his wife with his friend's wife, and his friend finds out and tells his friend's wife about this, uh, sort of slowly meeting out details as it comes, and at first he says, look, uh, tell your husband to do this and do that, and then put him into, have him go into this chest and then lock him in there and then I'll tell you more and so she does that and then he says look your husband has been cheating with my wife so now let's cheat together on him while he's in the chest <laughs> so uh, that's what they do and he's humiliated and cuckolded and um There's so many great, great stories. Uh, there are a few that are not for me, uh, but it, this is such a treasure of a book. I regret not coming to it sooner, but I didn't really know about it till last year. You might be hearing my roommates over me, uh, and that's because it's 3 a.m., which is the perfect time to have a poker party. Um, I have tuned them out, so I didn't even think about them. But if you hear them, I apologize. Oh, now it's distracting me. Anyway, there are some problems because it is translated. And, uh... I don't know what they're saying. I don't know everything they're saying. I know some of the words. Uh, there's some phrases that don't make a lot of sense for medieval or uh, dark ages Italy. I'm not really sure. Uh, for example... I think in day three, there's this mention of every Tom, Dick, and Harry doing something. This is set in Italy. I don't think there's a Tom, or a Dick, or a Harry in the 14th century Italy. But you tell me. Anyway, I'm going to uh, recommend this book to anybody that is interested. It's magnificent, and uh, if you heard my roommates over me, then I guess this video is all for naught, but uh, read this book.